Okay, we have a LeBlanc sliding bed gap lathe, uh, serial number D10382. Machine was new in 1950. You have 18 inch swing over the bed, 40 in the gap, 38 when it's closed to center distance, 60 when it's open. So you have 20 inches of swing at 38, uh, at 40 inches in the uh, sliding bed. We're going to run it for you right now. Machine has a variable speed spindle from 12 up to 600. We're in the low range from 12 up to 698. Right here, he's variating it. Forward and reverse. Another speed range, a little faster. Machine's well equipped. You have a taper turning attachment, a faceplate. Again, he's variating it. Face plate, you have a four jaw chuck, 12 inch, an eight and a, eight and a half inch three jaw chuck, which is on the machine right now. Uh, center in the uh, tail stock. Now we're gonna go into the high range. All right, I'm gonna put it back into the lower range. Yep, yep. Machine has feeds and threads. Right now he's doing the cross feed. Longitudinal feed. That's your compound. Yep, that's threading. He's engaging the half nut. He's closing the bed, right? Yeah, it's okay. This is kind of neat. You can see here that your bed opens up so you can get a larger swing and you have a second set of ways the bed rides on. Yep, and it'll go out to uh, 60 inch swing, 60 inch center distance with your 30, uh, 38 inch swing. Might as well go the whole way out so she can also photograph it with the bed, bedways open. Okay. Oh, the tail stock. Tail stock uh, has a number four Morse taper. Oh, you know what? I think it's a three Morse taper. Well, it's a, it's a Morse taper. And uh, hey, thank you for watching our video.